In this video, we'll be solving the problem on autocorrelation test. In my previous video, I discussed about the algorithm of this autocorrelation test. So let us see how to solve a problem on autocorrelation test. Now these are the numbers given for autocorrelation test, and they are saying that alpha is given as 0.05, and you have to test the numbers at positions second, seventh, and twelfth. and they are asking whether these numbers are auto correlated or not now first step remain the same for all the problems like to define the hypothesis next is to determine the value of i as well as lag m now i stands for the first value now first value you can see is the second that they have said that the position at second seventh and twelfth so second is a very first number so we'll assign second to i so i will be 2 and lag m lag m as i said lag m is the difference like difference between 7 and 2 is 5 and 12 and 7 is also 5 so 5 remains constant so 5 will be lag m next step is to determine the value of m that is the integer largest integer so for that let us right we have i as 2 so 2 plus m plus 1 this m we have to determine small m is 5 less than equal to 40 40 because n is 40 we have 40 numbers in total these numbers are 40 numbers next you have to solve this so i will take this to that side so that is m plus 1 multiplied by 5 less than equal to 38 now Divide that five, or take the five on the other side. You get m plus one is less than equal to seven point six. Now open this bracket and take the one on that other side. So you will get m less than equal to six point six. Now how will you solve this expression? Now this expression is solved by taking m is equal to max of. You have to determine or you have to in uh, go in the descending order like 6 5 4 likewise till 0 so which is the maximum value from this that you will take as m so m will be 6 since 6 is the maximum value or you can estimate right from here like you can round off from here also because the floating point number so you determined m as 6 after that you have to determine this estimator Rho cap I m. Now, as you can see, these numbers are very much large. So we will use rho cap I m. Now, rho cap I m is written as rho cap I is two and m is five. So rho of two five is equal to one upon m is six plus one that is seven in bracket summation k is equal to zero to m. M that is six into R of I that is two plus M. What is your M? That is five. So five K multiplied by R of I plus. So I'm sorry. That is two plus five into K plus one. This expression is alike, like two plus five K and two plus five into K plus one. Subtracted from zero point two five. Now this expression we have to run from zero to six. So you will first put k as zero, then put k as one, then put k as two. Likewise, you will get some sequence. So that sequence is very interesting to see. So it starts from r two multiplied by r seven. Then you will have plus r seven multiplied by. Now you have to add five to this because you have a lag of five. So If you add five to two, you will get seven. Likewise, with seven, you add five, you get R twelve plus R twelve. You have to repeat the same number again, multiplied by plus five. That is R seventeen plus seventeen plus five. That is R twenty two plus R twenty two multiplied by that is R twenty seven plus. R twenty seven multiplied by five that is R thirty two 
plus R32 multiplied by 5 that is R37. Now if you add 5 more to this then it will be R42. 42 that is not possible because you have in total 40 numbers. So you have to end or you have to write till 37 only. Beyond that you cannot go because you have in total 40 numbers. Now this R2 R7 represents the position of these numbers on this table. So he will write 1 by 7 multiplied by now R2 is a very second number. This is R1, this is R2. So 0 0.16 multiplied by R7. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So 0 0.30. Likewise, you have to fill this till R37 and you will get a value of 1.6144 subtracted from 0.25. And this value comes out to be minus 0 0.0193. Now this is the estimator that is rho cap IM. After this you have to determine step 5. That is step 5 is standard deviation of this estimator. So that is sigma rho cap IM. That is rho cap 25 is equal to. That is uh, a formula is there that is. 13 m plus 7 divided by 12 times m plus 1. So your m is 6 here. So you just have to put 13 multiplied by 6 plus 7 divided by 12 times 6 plus 1 that is 7. So you will get a value of 0 0.10975. This is the value after you solve the expression for rho sigma rho i am kept that is standard deviation after this you have to determine the test statistics so for that we have to write the z0 now z0 is the ratio of this estimator as well as this rho cap i am of the standard deviation so that is written in this way that is z0 is equal to you have to divide this value with this value that is rho cap im divided by standard deviation of rho cap im that is minus 0 0.0193 divided by 0 0.10975 and this value comes out to be minus 0 0.17 now after this we have to determine the value of z alpha by 2 that is z uh, 0 0.025 is equal to 1.96 this we have seen in the previous problems and step 7 is to determine whether it lies within that range so one point, minus 1.96 this value lies in between minus 1.96 and plus 1.96 and since this value or since this uh, negative uh, floating point lies between this range, we'll say that the hypothesis H0 is accepted and therefore the numbers are independently distributed. So this is how you solve a problem on autocorrelation test. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.